What up, what up, y'all out there? Ghetto Fang TV is in full motion with his OG homeboy, Daddy V, Compton OG. So y'all keep it tuned, keep it alive. He gonna show y'all some of that real shit. He gonna give y'all a good peach into the hip hop world, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned or you gonna miss it. Don't miss it. Stay tuned. Ghetto Fang TV. What's up with the big A dog out game with Compton OG? It is, man, Ghetto Flame TV. Oh, we get it in, we came from the ghetto. Fresh out of the chunk. Riding with our music. Yeah, what's up? This is Cool 187, aka Big Touch. You tune in to Ghetto Flame TV. But a law for life. Let's go to classes. Check this out, yo. I'm giving a shout out to Ghetto Flame. From Ghetto Flame TV. Y'all check him out, man. My boy's doing real big things. He represents the city of Lamwood. In the city of Compton, our neighbors are right next door. I got love for him. The boys will have love for him. Let's get off my TV. K9 in the motherfucking building, boys. Like. What's good with your family? This Compton OG Suicide. You watching Ghetto Flame TV. Holla. It's your boy, E3. Straight off the motherfucking streets of Compton. Ghetto Flame TV. You feel me? It's the motherfucking Thirsty. Yeah, no. You know how we do it, Ghetto Flame TV. We're chilling out here. Ghetto Flame TV, what's up with this? You count the big Twitter. What up, man? Big Doty out here representing that Bang Bang Bula Gang, Dog Pound Gangsters. You know how we do, man. Guard Star in the building. I uh, want to give a shout out to Ghetto Flame TV. It's your boy Justified, and I'm chilling out with Ghetto Flame TV. It's your boy Aguilar, the Dawn Propane Campaign. You already know the motherfucking name. Don't play no games, nigga. Yeah. L.A., New York, all over, you know what I mean? Yo, R&B, dub, 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 dot, H-A-T, dot, T-V. Bars and stripes, bitch, get it right. Mr. Ibonics himself, you watching Ghetto Flame TV. Like that, Wes? That shit do, nigga. Big shout out to the big homie Ghetto Flame on Ghetto Flame TV. Niggas go out down dollar sign. Buddy Boy Entertainment. Check this shit out. Only on Ghetto Flame TV, where you get the real original Sin Low Blackburn, straight up out of the CPT, representing the West Coast. What's Pop Locker? What's Pop Locker with it? OG Tidy Bone from the West Coast. Pop Locker, you know, it's a little shout out to Ghetto Flame. You know what I'm saying? What's the deal, man? It's your boy Double Guns, aka Sean B, man. Fucking with that Ghetto Flame TV, homie. They don't get no hotter than this. Lakers fans in the house, yeah, South yeah. Central's in the house, and we just want to show show love and respect to Ghetto Flame TV. Ghetto Flame TV. Ghetto Flame TV. We the West Coast Riders. We the West Coast Riders. If you're looking for trouble, we the providers. Uh, check it out. Mutual respect uh, concept is something that's been brewing ever since uh, the '90s with me the Peace Treaty. That came about when, you know, once the, once the friction started, you know, starts showing his head between the blacks and the, and the Mexicans in, in, in Southern California, the South Side of like you know, they, they it Mutual Respect Project is dealing with basically, this, this is like a, a natural uh, progression of uh, the peace treaty, blood and crypt thing. That's right. Um, like I said, it's been brewing for a while. But I was just waiting for the right time, right opportunity. You said the right time. I, I, I was checking out the uh, the combo that you had earlier yeah. uh, uh, with, with Malone, right? And uh, and and how you had the you know you had the L.A. Clipper song yeah. with uh, with Dents, yeah. and it just so happened you know what I mean right after that the whole situation with Sterling. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and, and it, you know it's like it ain't like it's something new. You know what I'm saying? But but it just so happened like that came to the light when you was already speaking on it. Like I really try to be delicate. I really right. kind of try to not not push too hard and, and say what I know too soon. But yeah, people ain't ready. Yeah, for it. I mean even if they are, they ain't. I mean you're right, but my history, my career, you know, I, I learned a lot of lessons about. Uh, Speaking what I know too soon and really pushing it, you know, and that scares a lot of people. It scares all potential allies and, and, and comrades that might not have signed up for what I signed up for. Right. So I don't want to put that kind of pressure on you know people that don't know what they're getting into by speaking on certain subjects like that. But okay. With me. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, that, that's that's always, that's my passion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always want to, you know, dig into the, the controversial, you know, the aspects, you know, stuff that don't nobody else want to talk about. Right, right. And even certain, like I said, certain things, like, I, you know, <laughs> I just, I, I would, I would, I would go all in, flame like, but, yeah. I, I, hey, I, I completely understand yeah. though. Like, I, I didn't want to get too deep because yeah. I already know, you know, my subscribership yeah. they ain't ready for it. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you feel me. yeah, yeah. Okay, back to the to the mutual respect. As far as uh, uh, the 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 people that you collaborated with, I yeah. heard a little bit of the track with uh, Omar Cruz already. Yeah, Omar Cruz, Young and, and, West. Shout out to Young West. Uh, on the project I also got uh, Mr. Criminal. Got uh, Mr. Okay. Pony. Kiki Smooth, uh, uh, Sick Jack from Psycho Realm, okay. uh, King Lil G, uh, you know what I'm saying, through Kiki. So is everything uh, on a, on a you know, political level, or is it, you got some party songs? No, it's, party, or? it's definitely party. Like, okay. you know, the, the theme is, is my theme, mutual respect, but it's not about, you know, do, it's not, a, it's not, them trying to be like Cam, they doing. I'm allowing them to do that. I'm not censoring them. I'm not editing them. I'm, let, I'm letting them do them. Yeah. But just the fact that they they making a statement to, to, to perform on a record with me, right? You know, say enough. That's enough of a statement. You know, what I'm saying that they with the they with the peace, they with the respect. How how has the uh, the uh, you know the experience been working with like you know track after track just working with the Latino side of nothing, things. Nothing but respect. Nothing yeah. but respect. Nothing but but understanding. Like like the vibe, I mean I ain't trying to get into that like the, but it's, I be into wisdom like certain quotes like in the Bible say a righteous man is respected everywhere except his own house. Okay. And, and you know that's not a religious thing but it's just like familiarity breed disrespect. Your, your own people might Say, oh, that, that, that nigga, we see that nigga everywhere, but, right. you know, the essays be like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying, we respect what you do, right. you know what I'm saying, they, they got a different level of, of respect for you. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times we don't know how to convert that into to, to business or dollars and cents or, or movement or unity, and, you know, that's what I'm, I'm learning how to do right now. So okay. I always, they always know, I, you know, I'm not on no click. Stuff. I'm not a blood grip, BGF, whatever. Like, you know, all my family, them is a little, them is a little, you know, groups. I don't, I don't, I don't represent a group. I represent the whole. The people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just trying to, you know, get at them like that on the universal level. Yeah. Find the common ground, the similarities rather than, you know, the differences. Like, the enemy want to exploit our differences. So I'm, I'm into the similarities and coming together on what we got in common and what, you know, even what enemies we got in common. Right. A few years ago, you had the Fruit Pruno project. Yeah. You know, you had the uh, the Righteous Love was, yeah. was a part of that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, can you speak on no, on those uh, projects any? Because I, I noticed you didn't do any uh, real videos for those. You just had them on iTunes and whatnot. Yeah, they was more like a uh, test. Like, you know, te I, was, I was testing. See if they was ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. I'm a scientist. That's right. You know, so I, I'm not trying to cast my pearls before swine or before the time. Okay. You know, everything is timing. You got to make sure that right before you go out there with a basket, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, and Bruno was, was testing the waters, you know, within my own uh, nation community, nation Islam community, and okay. trying to make it commercially uh, attractive enough to, to even, you know, mainstream people to even, uh, you know, kind of kind of feel it or not. Okay. I got a good response, so me, Young Bro, and Technique from Long Beach. Right. Is, uh, we working on... Uh, Part two right now. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how, how deep are you into that? Uh, we just started, but it, it'll be finished, God willing, about uh, a month. Okay. Yeah, we have it all done. In yeah, yeah, because I, I just got up on Young Bruh through you. So yeah, that's you my know. Brother. Yeah. So that's your real yeah, little brother. Same mother and father. Okay. Yeah, okay, so did he start uh, getting into this because of, uh, you know, uh, following your lead or whatnot? Uh, maybe a little bit, but he was doing his own thing. He was playing pro football or, you know, college football, and uh, my mom's passed in 05, so he just came home from school, and I was like, well, man, you know, 
you already you, know, you got this to fall back on. So if you want to do this, because he was doing music. He actually uh, put game in the game. Is that right? Yeah, that him and game was, um, you know, rap group. Oh, okay. You know, and he went to play football, so I, you know, I, uh, Kind of, um, Game did his route. Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, so. Okay. Who was your influence that made you, you know, say, I want to uh, express myself through this, you know, form, you know, yeah, my through hip hop? Was, uh, Ice Cube, because he was, he, was, he was definitely my favorite rapper. Okay. Uh, I started Melly Mel, Toddy T from Compton, Ice T. Like hood shit, like uh, Mix Master Spade, mm -hmm. uh, Mix Master Ken, DJ Star. Like this was all, all like Compton, Watts, you know, mixtape, you know, hood tape. Right. Yeah, when, when the dope game really first started. So, but uh, Easy, I used to see Easy at the Compton swap meet. Like he, he was really like these dudes really was in the paint. And this is before you ever yeah, recorded. Yeah, I just used to see them, like, so I, when I seen them start blowing up, and I was like, oh, shit, I, I, I know these things. Like, I see, I be seeing these things, so I can do it. Like, I know they not, <laughs> right? not, 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 not no haters, but no, no, yeah, they yeah. not more thorough than, than me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I always was writing stories, and like, I was smart in elementary school, I was smart in school, so okay. I know how to do creative writing and all of that, so, and I love music. Made sense for me too, so I seen them making money. Oh, that's me right there. I don't okay. know how long it's gonna last, but that's me. Alright, alright, all right, but thanks all for checking right. in with me on Ghetto Flame TV yes, and uh sir. and congratulations on getting the honor tonight and uh and uh much success in the future, man. I'm looking forward to everything that you got coming. I can't wait to hear the mutual respect project, man. Likewise, I appreciate it and Give my eyeballs with that bright light. That's why I'm looking everywhere. Else. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I'm like a deer in the headlight. <laughs> For sure. Right. The cycle that's building over here, and I think with the release of the NWA album next month, or in a couple of months, right. it's almost you know it's almost here. Right. I think that's gonna really expose how we really get down over here, and it ain't just you know getting on the mic and conjuring up images <laughs> of how we envision life. This is shit that you know, pop off with us every day, all day. But uh, the music was just so good, it just totally hurt my soul, my son's soul, that these artists just uh, were pretty much falling off. And so I kind of considered them as roses. Right. And uh, I didn't want to see the roses die. I wanted to keep them motivated, keep them watered with something. So uh, me and my son actually came up with Shrew Motivation Magazine so that artists can be able to see themselves in a better light. I ended up getting killed at the end by that cap, and I got a lovable role all the way through the end of the movie. My guy is Mac Lucci. He was the one who was in charge of the pistols and selling pistols. So, you know, the movie is real it's real dope. It's about my boy James Wade's sister, who rest in peace. She uh, actually committed suicide, but in the movie she gets killed. So it's like okay. how he got it based. And then, like, I play his best friend who ended up really getting killed in real life. So it's like a real deep movie, man. Medicated, motivated. Look out for that. Okay. That's cool.